Hello guys, today I'm going point shoe shopping with my mom. I've been having problems with my point shoes. I've been dancing on point for like three years, but the ones that I have right now are really bad, so I'm trying to get a new pair that actually fits my feet. I haven't gone to this store before, so I hope it's good and they find the right shoe for me, because I cannot be spending $100 every three weeks on a random shoe that doesn't fit my feet and that caused me a lot of pain. So my teacher recommended me this store so I hope it works and I get the right one and I don't have to spend more money. If you ever get um, fitted for point, it's just a little tip if any dancers are watching this. Remember to bring your tights and warm up because your feet feels different when it's um, warm in your shoe. So if you have a cold feet and you put it on the shoe and then when you're when you're dancing it's gonna be completely different how it feels so make sure your feet are warm anyways i'm off to the store i'll show you guys how it's like so i hope you guys enjoy pequeño para las niñas que bailan ballet, digo yo. Aquí hay otro más pequeño. No es un panty. No es un panty. No. Eso es para el pie. ¿Un panty para el pie? I'm gonna show you guys what I got. First, I wanna talk a little bit about the point shoes that I had before versus the point shoes that I got now and all the things that I learned from this other shop that I went. It was my first time there, so I didn't know anything about it, but the guy was very nice. He like taught me a lot about my shoes and my feet and how it works. My old point shoes, these are Block European Balance. I was going over way too much, so I broke it here. And you can see the line right there here which is too deep it's just so deep so i was going over my shoe like that like that's pretty much how it looked on point actually i'm gonna show you These are Nicolet Victory, they are a new release from Grishko. They are very soft on the inside, they have like this fluffy material inside. And the shank is so thick, it's like if I do, it's like, like this thick, the shank. And I break the, the shank pretty often, so this being this thick is really good for my feet. And it won't allow me to go over like I did with this one, the block European balance. I hope this shoe becomes my staple shoe so I don't have to keep getting fitted and trying new shoes all the time and I can just trust that this will work for my feet every single time. Along with the shoes, I got some ribbons. These are the satin one, so they are not stretchy. 
and I got a pinky pad for my pinky because here on the side on my left foot is like very rough so this helped me with my pinky which is only for my left foot because my feet are different so I have some things that I use for my left feet and other things that I use for my right feet which is very annoying but at least we found something that works for my feet I forgot to mention I use a silicone pad very soft and I have the fabric on the inside on my right feet I have to use this little toe pad and for both of my feet I have a spacer like this one this goes in between your, your feet like that these are reversible, you can have either side on, but I like to have the silicone side out. I haven't sewn them in yet because I want my sure to see them first but I think they're pretty good so I don't think I'll have a problem with them so compared to the block ones you see that I don't have a crease here and that I'm not going over and I look pretty supported if you're a dancer and you're getting fitted soon, one of the things that I recommend for you to know is that a poncho is not supposed to um, hurt when you first try it on. If you're having pain here on the big toe, that's not supposed to happen. That just means that you don't have enough pressure from the side, like it's not as hugged on the side and that means that you're sinking down. That's one of the things that the guy told me that I wasn't completely aware of, that it's not supposed to hurt here on the big toe. Obviously, if you've been dancing for like an hour, your feet are going to hurt, but when you first try a shoe, it's not supposed to hurt. Another thing is that when you go on the shoe, you should feel pressure because you have your whole weight on your feet, but not pain like deep pain like you're dying on the shoe that's not supposed to happen just some pressure the only other thing is you might feel some like minor discomfort that's why i got my pinky pad because this um shoe feels a bit tight on my left feet my left foot that oh. was at your feet your foot so what I was saying, on um, my left foot, I feel more pressure with this shoe than on my right one because my left foot is bigger. So I felt a little bit of pain on my pinky toe and that's why I got the pinky pad. But it's not like my pinky was in deep pain, you know? So don't get like this type of thing if you're like struggling a lot with your shoe and you think that this will help you like it's just the wrong shoe okay and these are also things that i learned in this fitting so all the credit goes to the guy that fit me thank you so much thank no mm. thank you so much thank you thank you thank you thank you so much <laughs> thank you you guys for you thank you so much thank you so much for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Thank you so much for staying till the end of this video. I... No, I was the best. Enough. No. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next time. That's all I have for today. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Take care. <laughs> Take care. Bye. <coughs> Woo-hoo-hoo! <laughs>